Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC guy. Well, as I guess you figured out by now, uh, I've retired the old Coolpix camera, so that won't be uh, making another appearance unless something really goes wrong. Uh, I went out and picked up another uh, Sony Handycam, and uh, the old Sony is going to be going back to the factory repair shop for, um, for an overhaul and to replace whatever was wrong. And in the future, that'll be my backup camera. So hopefully this won't happen again. But um, at any rate, what I want to do today, though, is talk a little bit about uh, Decoder Pro rosters. You know, I've uh, produced a couple of videos in the past, um, one most recently on using Decoder Pro without an interface. But also in the past, I've done a whole series of Decoder Pro tutorials that are available here on the YouTube channel uh, that go into creating rosters and all of this. So what I want to do today is show you how to save those rosters, how to back them up so that if your computer goes down or something else uh, happens, at least you'll have a backup copy that you can reload and be up and running again without having lost a lot of data. So give me a second and we'll get to the computer and get started. Okay, uh, here we're looking at uh, Decoder Pro, and this is my basic roster uh, for my entire uh, set of locomotives that I've uh, converted to DCC and programmed uh, already. So now what I want to do is save this roster, back it up somewhere. So how do you find that? Well, the easiest way is to go right here, click on Help, like so. And then go down, you'll see a, uh, an option called Locations. Click on that. Okay, so this is the window that pops up. And you notice right up here, the second option is Open the Roster Location. So click on that, and a Finder window will pop open. And right there it is, the Roster Directory. Now, all you have to do is select the Roster Directory and drag and drop that to some other removable media. Uh, probably your best bet uh, is either a thumb drive that uh, you can use to uh, save a lot of different backups. Uh, I, you know, I do that with my roster. I also save a copy of the roster to my, uh, my Google Drive files out in the cloud. So I have two X, actually two copies two backup copies. And you want to make sure you get the backups off of your computer. Put them on something that you can move somewhere else because, heaven forbid, if your uh, layout room catches on fire or wherever you have your computer, if you have a fire and it destroys your computer, then if you've got your thumb drive or whatever other uh, uh, backup medium you're using sitting right there next to the computer, you're going to lose both, so it's not going to do any good. So backups only work if you move them off-site, okay? So what you want to do is copy this whole directory, and I'll show you. It's not very big. It's only about 14 megabytes. If I clicked on the properties, you can see it's only um, something around 14.3 to 14.7 uh, megabytes. So you can you can save this. One thing you can do you can uh, attach this to an email and email a copy to yourself. And if you're using something like Gmail or, or some of these other uh, off-site mail, so mail uh, servers, you know, you'll have a backup copy sitting out there in the cloud somewhere that um, in the future you can just go grab uh, and, and copy back to your computer. Um, another option you have with this is um, let me go ahead and close this and we'll go back here. Another option you have is to change your user file locations. So let me close this and let's um, go to the preferences. Okay, whoops. Let me do that again and bring it back up. Okay, here we have them. 
uh, file locations in preferences. You can see that uh, uh, here's your, your roster file, things of that nature. Um, what you can do is you can create a directory in Decoder, um, excuse me, you can create a directory uh, in Dropbox or in, you know, Google Drive or the iCloud or whatever. Uh, and then you can uh, save your roster there. And you can actually change the user file location to your Google Drive or your Dropbox file uh, location. And that way, you know, every time you open Decoder Pro, you've got direct access to your files on Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever. Um, I prefer not to do that because I might not always be in a location where I have a uh, reliable um, uh, uh, Wi-Fi connection. Um, and so I prefer to go ahead and just use my use the roster that's on my computer. And you know, every uh, if I'm doing a lot of backups, I will finish by saving a backup copy uh, either to a thumb drive and also to my uh, to my Dropbox or to my Google Drive uh, files. So those are probably the safest uh, ways to do that, um, as opposed to setting it up on a, uh, uh, a direct link from your computer to your files uh, on the cloud. For some reason, I just haven't gotten that. Uh, i gotten to the point, though, where I feel um, that the connection, Wi-Fi connections, are that reliable that, you know, I don't want to be in the middle of a of a session where I'm trying to save data to a, a you know to a file location that can't be accessed for some reason momentarily even so I I prefer not to do that I prefer to back everything up and that you know that way I I feel like I have a little bit more control over my uh, my data and where it ends up so that's uh, that's basically it it's very straightforward and uh, like again go to help locations and let me pull this back down in here open your roster location here you're right there at your roster and you can save that roster now what happens though when you uh, want to reinstall well all you have to do is reinstall decoder pro say to a let's say your your disk drive crashes and you have to buy a new computer or replace the disk drive, whatever. So you would go ahead, you would download and uh, and set up Decoder Pro again, and then uh, go ahead and go back to your locations and copy your saved roster to the new roster uh, location. Um, and again, you just go back here to help to find it again. And you know, open that location. And since you're opening a finder window, you can, you know, bring it from Google Drive and drop it in here. So it's very straightforward to be able to move that file to where it needs to be. But then uh, you might find that you need to go ahead and once you have copied it to the new location, go into um, actions here and go down to recreate roster index. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already got it here, but you can go ahead just click on the recreate roster index and it will rebuild the internal index for your roster and you should be able to access your files. Um, and it should come up like this again. However, if it doesn't, after a reasonable amount of time, go ahead, close Decoder Pro and open it up again and it should go ahead and redisplay your roster just as it exists here. So that's pretty straightforward, easy to do uh, type of thing. I highly recommend that you do this on a regular basis, you know, at least once a month, uh, unless you haven't made any changes at all in your uh, in your in your programming, uh, which is you know unlikely. Uh, I know I'm in here, you know, at least once a week making changes to uh, some of my files. So go ahead and. Uh, Back those files up, get them backed up to an off-site source, and be safe. Don't be sorry down the road when a pipe breaks and drowns your computer or something of that nature. And, um, you know, you know as well as I do that our computers that we use for model railroading sometimes aren't set up in the best of environments. And um, 
it's better safe than sorry. And a backup, it's easy to do. Only takes a few seconds each time you do it. So that's about all I have on this one. Uh, I guess that'll give you something to do for a few days, figuring out how to make a backup copy of your Decoder Pro roster. You know, it's always a good idea to save your important files somewhere uh, off-site so that if, you know, you do have a disaster at home, at least everything that's important is backed up and saved. Uh, all of my articles and, and important stuff, I go ahead and save directly to either Dropbox or to Google Drive so that I've always got a copy that I can access from other locations, as well as it's a safe, backed up copy. So you might consider trying that uh, for your future work. Uh, other than that, that's all I have. So uh, have a great weekend, and we'll see you uh, the beginning of next week with a new video.